it's Samantha Sostrich, and you may remember me from the productions of La La Lucille this last summer at Third Avenue Playhouse, and the summer before from Shinbone Alley. And I'm just checking in with everyone at Third Avenue Playhouse. It has been a strange pandemic, hasn't it? <laughs> um, uh, they asked us to kind of make a little video about what it's been like as a performer during this time. Um, right now, I'm supposed to be rehearsing for a production of Candide, and I was really excited about it. I was going to be Paquette as well as the governor, and I was very excited to play a role that's normally played by a male presenting actor. And hopefully, um, fingers crossed, we'll be able to push that production further into the year, but at this point, we don't know. And then I received word from Third Avenue Playhouse um, about the about anyone can whistle, and I am very sad, but it makes so much sense. I worry about that group of friends and family that are up in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. It's such a small, beautiful home that opens its doors to us. The people that take care of us who are from out of town, the number of um, guests that are supposed to come into town that maybe we don't know will. And I worried about not only the health of everyone up there, including my beloved Helga Bob, who housed me last summer, but um, I also worried for the financial stability of a theater that relies so much on community and up close and personal performances, which is the exact opposite of what we really need right now. <laughs> Social distancing. Um, so right now I am working remotely from my father's law office. I am trying to help take care of my folks. Uh, my mother is a pharmacist. She's the head pharmacist at our local pick and save. So she's kind of on the front lines, not in the hospitals, but she's really explaining to everyone the, the seriousness of this pandemic. And she's, we're just really worried that she could come home infected. And then my father has rheumatoid arthritis and he has been battling this since I was a baby. So like, my whole life and he's on immunosuppressive uh, drugs for his arthritis, which make him very susceptible to this. So it's scary. Yeah, um, I find moments of normalcy in just taking a lone walk with the family dog. Maybe I see a neighbor who's also walking their dog and we just wave at each other from a distance. Hi. Uh, the dogs, of course, are like, why can't we say hi? But that's that. And um, yeah, so it's a whole lot of unknown. And it's sad. And I think it's okay to be sad about it. But I believe that, um, that, everybody, that Third Avenue Playhouse is doing the right thing. And you may notice I have a sparkly background behind me because I've also been filling up some of my um, at-home time as a party princess. Now, there are a lot of kids who maybe plan to have a party princess appear at their birthday party who now can't have their birthday party. So I have done live story times on Facebook and we do sing-alongs on Facebook Live, um, all free of charge. Um, and something to just change up the monotony of their day, especially since they're not in school right now. And their big special day is kind of not what they were hoping it was for. So I thought I would sing just a little bit of a very popular song right now. Um, you may recognize it, um, or maybe, maybe you don't have enough little ones around you, but I'll just sing a little snippet of it, so. This is from a very famous Snow Queen. I can hear you, but I don't. 
Some look for trouble while others don't. There's a thousand reasons I should go about my day and ignore your whispers, which I wish would go away. Oh. Oh. You're not a voice. You're just a ringing in my ear. And if I heard you, which I don't, I'm spoken for, I fear. Everyone I've ever loved is here within these walls. I'm sorry, secret siren, but I'm blocking out your calls. I've had my adventure. I don't need something new. I'm afraid of what I'm risking if I follow you into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Well, I didn't belt the full last one because we're very close to the camera and I don't want to blow out the speakers. <laughs> it's a loud note. But I'm wishing you all the best up at Third Avenue Playhouse and in Door County. Stay strong, everybody. Stay safe. Love you.